barely a week after the violence in the national capital on India's 72nd Republic Day, a section of protesting farmers on Monday gave a call for a nationwide agitation on February 6th. Now, this comes even as thousands of farmers are protesting against the three contentious farm laws at the borders of Delhi for more than two months now. Meanwhile, at the three main protest sites of Singhu, Ghazipur and Tikri, the Delhi police took several steps to restrict the movement of protesters. As you can see there, concertina wires sandwiched between four layers of yellow barricades, low cement walls, buses and trucks parked, parked crisscross fashion and even nails put into the roads at the Tikri border to stop any kind of movement. Road blockages have also caused major traffic jams in parts of Delhi. Rows and rows of police, of barricades and barbed wire. Concrete barriers being constructed. Nails embedded in roads. Police armed with weapons to counter swords. Shocking visuals from the borders of India's capital, where the police are trying to block farmers from entering Delhi again. After the events of 26th January, In doing so, the cops replicating scenes from India's conflict zones. This footage released by Delhi police sources shows cops holding sword-like weapons made of metal. Fortification against any sword attacks on cops by protesters, sources say. More draconian measures on the borders for the third straight day. Internet remained shut. Even as the finance minister presented most crucial budget in recent times, in the backdrop of the crippling COVID pandemic. The government is bringing in more extreme and new measures to intensify the fortifications at the protest sites outside the national capital. Thousands of farmers are joining the agitation, making the protest stronger by each and every passing day. At the Singhu border, thousands of farmers continued to arrive for protests. More from Haryana and West UP, unlike a week ago when this border mostly had farmers from Punjab. With Saurabh Shukla and Akshay Dongre in New Delhi, Rohit Wellington for NDTV.